Defense Secretary Caspar Weinberger said the mandate from the people last November was clear. We will not be second to any nation in military strength. He outlined Reagan administration budget proposals to carry out that mandate. In addition to the purchase of new weaponry, Secretary Weinberger said for too long his military pay been shamefully low, and the administration is proposing a 5.3 percent pay raise for this July and another one for the fall. These are not bonuses or incremented increases. They represent simple equity. Are they essential to bring military compensation up to the levels of comparability that were promised when our nation instituted the all-volunteer armed force almost a decade ago? These particular pay raises will not fulfill all of our personnel requirements, but they will further slow the exodus of trained and talented service people who leave because they cannot in good conscience force their families to suffer such economic hardships. The secretary recalled the days when he served under General Douglas MacArthur during World War II and told Mrs. Jean MacArthur, the general's widow, that a corridor in the Pentagon will be named in his honor. Following his address, Virginia Philharmonic Conductor Laureate Russell Stanger led the Joint Military Service Band in the premiere performance of Sinfonia MacArthur by Mark Camphouse. The symphony honors the 100th anniversary of General MacArthur's birth. Ava Hurdle, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Norfolk.